Have you ever told yourself, I'll start tomorrow, and then never did? Maybe it was a diet, or studying for an exam, or finishing that work report. We've all procrastinated and regretted it later. Behavioral economists call this present bias. In behavioral economics, present bias means we overvalue the present and undervalue the future, a core reason behind procrastination. We prioritize immediate pleasure over necessary effort. We keep putting things off. This tests our self-control and time management in fundamental ways. But here's the question, do we realize we have this bias? Research reveals something surprising, we mostly don't. Even more interesting? We're actually quite good at predicting when others will procrastinate. This experiment took place at Harvard's Decision Science Lab. Participants chose between doing boring tasks now or later. People optimistically predicted their future selves would follow through. But when the time came, they thought, I really don't want to do this. They did less work than they'd predicted. Here's the fascinating part. People predicted others' procrastination accurately. Participants expected others will put off this work. And those estimates matched actual behavior closely. This reveals what researchers call asymmetric naivete. We're blind to our own tendency to procrastinate. But we accurately predict the same tendency in others. We're blind to our own weaknesses, yet sensitive to others' weaknesses. Why does this happen? Research points to overconfidence. We consistently misjudge our own self-control. We think, I'll be fine far too optimistically. This asymmetric naivete affects every aspect of our social lives. Take workplace management, for example. When managers set deadlines, they expect employees to procrastinate. That's why they create milestones and check-ins. Meanwhile, employees think, I've got this under control. In education, teachers accurately predict student procrastination. This helps them design better assignments. But they're often too optimistic about their own lesson planning. Consider couples planning to save money together. Each thinks, I'll stick to it, but my partner might not. This bias appears in competitive situations too. Imagine competing for sales bonuses. You might think, Others will slack off, but I won't. Here's the bottom line. We live with the illusion that I won't procrastinate. Then our future selves betray us. Yet we clearly see that others will procrastinate. This gap creates misunderstandings and friction in our daily lives, workplaces, and homes. This research reveals a critical blind spot in self-awareness. We overestimate our own willpower while realistically assessing others. Understanding this asymmetry could lead to better decisions and better systems. Next time you face an important task, try this. Think I might be lazier than I expect. Behavioral economics research like this helps us understand and improve our daily lives. I'll keep sharing fascinating research, so please subscribe.